Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about the unicorn and some uh, its place in myth and in truth. So here's a good representation of a unicorn. You can see all the classic, what it was thought to look like. Uh, I'm going to go over here to finish, finish off here. So here's ancient books that, that depicted a unicorn. This is from 1657. It's a Polish naturalist drew one in here. Now, unicorns are mentioned in the Bible, and that's one of the big, well, that isn't one of the big, but it's, a, it's another stumbling block for people. When King James uh, got together 200 scholars to write the his version, the King James Version, the 1611 King James Version, uh, it was kind of to... Uh, supplant the Geneva Bible and uh, so he, he got these 200 scholars to uh, do their best on translation now you need to buy a copy of the King James Version not necessarily to read it because it's in Middle English it's very hard to read uh, it's complete and fine and all that but the, the main reason you get it is to get the preface so in the preface there's about 20 pages and they talk about they did their best but there were some words they just didn't understand like in uh, in ancient Hebrew there was uh, about 6,000 words and uh, the words got changed in the contents of the sentence a good example is the word aretz it means earth uh, like when one of the prophets shut up the uh, heaven so it didn't rain for all over the whole arets the whole earth for three years that doesn't mean it it didn't rain in the uh, uh, rainforest in Brazil it just meant it didn't rain anywhere that was germane to the story namely the Middle East so back to the story so uh, they didn't know what a rhinoceros was uh, and here there's they're even acknowledging that uh, the unicorn might be a rhinoceros here at this exhibit but uh, uh, I've got a copy of a book that was made in uh, uh, so 1790 and it was a copy of an earlier book where they mentioned that the uh, Unicorn was a, an animal of great size. It would sometimes win fights with elephants. So the unicorn, the monoceros, is is the unicorn in the Bible. And here's here's the unicorn on the seal of uh, the coat of arms of England. You can see it right here. There's the unicorn. There's the lion, lion and the unicorn. Uh, uh, another example of this in the Bible would be the tale of Samson. So uh, it says uh, Samson grabbed a bunch of fox tails together, foxes and tied their tails together and put a firebrand between them to set the fields on fire. Uh, they didn't know what a jackal was. The people that were uh, translating the Bible, the King James Bible, now they were aware of what a lion was and they were aware of what an elephant was. But a, a small subspecies of canid such as a, um, a jackal they didn't know about now foxes are solitary animals to get that many foxes you'd have to cover about 300 square miles however jackals gather in groups and they're easy to catch and the, the they've already proved this in three different studies where a guy could catch them time together and they didn't light them on fire but just to prove they could catch them in time together so the bible's true the unicorn was the rhinoceros and thank you i'm out